perfected their mythology. Louis, please sit down for a while. Huh? You're making me nervous. Sit down, Louis. Come on, sit next to me. I don't want to sit. I'm too pent up. He needs to move around, Daniela. <laughs> What's wrong? Poor Daddy. That's enough. Let it cry. Not dead yet. Save your tears for the funeral. Helen. We did everything we could, Mrs. Asher. I'm sorry. Daddy's
gave you permission, who said you could go. You know, if you asked me, I would have said no. You always said we'd grow old together. You promised that's the way it would be. You never said that one would go first. How could you do this to me? Who is there to cook for? And what's there to clean? And how will I fill up the washing machine? How do you sleep with nobody snoring? Waste a tea bag for one cup of tea. One loaf of bread will last me a month. How could you do this to me? Who's going to balance the checkbook? Who will correct me when I'm right? Who's going to change the fuse? Zip me up in the back. Who's going to kiss me? Good night. Who said I was ready? Who said I was strong? I'd never desert you. Not after so long. You helped me through the birth of our children. You did your share of bottles and diapers. There at my side through mumps and through measles. You drove the car, paid off the mortgage. You always made me go to the dentist. And only you remembered my birthday. Whenever there was trouble, you managed to fix it somehow. And if ever, there was a time I needed you. It's now. What did the doctor say? He said what he always says to them, too fast. How's your blood pressure? Fine, fine. The kids can't wait to see you. Oh, I'll be glad to see them, too. All week long, they've been asking Diane, when's Graham coming, when's Graham coming? Maury loved his grandchildren more than anything on earth. They thought the world of him, too. He had a way with children. True, true. Wait till you see the shoes I bought for you. Six pairs, our latest fashion, and the very special. What am I going to do with all those shoes? <laughs> Who am I going to wear them for? Well, life has to go on, B. I guess. Good. Very tender. Not overdone? Perfect. I bet you miss Grandpa, huh, Grandma? Terry. Oh, that's all right. It's good to talk about him so we don't forget him. Go play in the yard, girls. Hey, Ma, you want some ice cream with that cake? Oh, no. <laughs> My aunt, she oh. just finished telling you she's got to watch her weight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ma, Lewis and I feel you ought to sell the house and move in with us. We, we feel your house is too big for one person. We got lots of space. Here you could have your own room. The girls would just love it. I've never lived any place except the Bronx. What is so terrific about the Bronx? It's just a big slum. That's the reason we moved out here. I've lived there all my life. Then it's time for a change. It'll be so lonely for you, Mom. It'll be lonely for me any place without your father. Well, here at least you'd have the kids. All right, I'll think about it. Sure. We don't expect you to make a decision immediately. You know, give it plenty of thought. Take your time. And just remember, B. Our door is always open. Thank you. Now, if my memory serves, Maury provided for you very well. B. I'm okay. 
Now, we're in a professional capacity here, B. All right? Now, in this office, we're not relatives. Okay? Okay. Now, it's not that I don't feel for you. I understand. All right, just scold me if I start to cry. I don't want to cry anymore. I cried enough. Good. Now, I will need your uh, signature in a few places. You know, I've been thinking that maybe I'd like to go to work. Uh, sign at the X. Sure had a lot of clothes. If you see anything that you like, you can have it. Dad and I didn't have quite the same taste in clothes, though. As soon as you catch your breath, come on down to the basement with me. What for? I want to show you something. Sell this house, move in with her. That's an idea. I know, but I don't want to be dependent on anybody. Ma, wow, what is all this? My whole life is here. I never threw anything away. This is incredible. These are all my old toys. Look at this. David's baby clip. Mom, I sell this suit. You remember this? I sure did. It's my old rocking horse. Diane used it before you. Diane used everything before me. <laughs> uh, these trousseau? I don't think I ever threw away a stitch of clothes. I bet, I bet some of them are worth something now, huh? Ma, are you kidding? All this old stuff? I bet you that this is worth a small fortune. That's what I thought. I'll tell you something. I know it sounds a little crazy, but I always had an ambition to open a business and be my own boss. That's your ambition, huh? Oh, I know, it sounds a little crazy, but the other day, I was thinking about what to do with the rest of my life. I came down here and I looked around and I said to myself, B, God is trying to tell you something. I'm gonna open a junk shop. God told you to open a junk shop, huh? Why not? Ma, opening a store is not an easy thing. In fact, it's very complicated. Oh, I know, dear, but you'll help me. Oh, sure, Ma. <laughs> I already called a lawyer, and he's working on it. Ma, look, you know I want what's best for you, right? My mind is made up. Okay. Your father won this at Coney Island. First year we were married, he said it reminded him of me. Mom, are you really going to be able to sell all this stuff? Oh, not this. I'd never sell that. Yeah, what about the rest of these things? Oh, they're just things, aren't they? I'll go load the car. I 
will spend forever saving my pennies and dreams. Every penny of Maury's insurance for this. Now look, Helen, if it makes her happy, let her do what she wants. Happy? You. You're the one I'm really surprised at. You're her favorite. You could have stopped her. Why? What's wrong with her starting a business? Huh? You know perfectly well that uh, within a month we'll be lugging all this stuff back to the house. And Helen is right. She's not right. It just kills me that I'm breaking my back, and for what? <laughs> So far, you haven't done anything yet. Who asked you? The only reason you're in this family is because of me. Put your coat on. We're taking you to dinner. Oh, I just made dinner. I was just going to sit down to eat. Well, you shouldn't eat alone so much. Come on, Jack's double park. I don't want to intrude. Intrude? Here's your coat. Helen, I... I... talked him into Chinese food, so don't argue. I... Come on. You love Chinese food. Since when? Since when? Did you hear him? Maybe I'm tired of Chinese food. You ever think of that? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Why didn't I say so? Get her. First thing she says to me when I walk in the door tonight is, let's take Bee out for Chinese food. Bee loves Chinese food. So? Don't you love Chinese food, Bee? Well, well, there you are. Well, what do you expect me to say? No, let's have Italian because I'm in the mood for Italian tonight. Bee loves Chinese food so much, I can be big about it, can I? What? So if that's the case, why haven't you stopped complaining since we got here? Complaining? Who's complaining? Was I complaining? Hmm. Come on. B, was he complaining or not? Hmm? Well, so there you are. I bought this in 1942, just after the war started. It was considered a Joan Crawford style. I remember. My husband always used to say he thought it looked better on me than Joan Crawford. Do you think it's me? I think it looks better on you than me or Joan. Do you really think so? I wouldn't say so if I didn't mean it. B, what do you want for this? Oh, uh, that's not for sale. Oh, sorry. It's so expensive. Fifteen dollars? Expensive for a dress like that? Well, it's expensive for me. <laughs> Natalie, what do you think of this? Turn around. I like it. It's $15. How much would you like it to be? What? Well, how much can you spend for it? Oh, be no. No, come on. Ten? It's yours. Really? I want you to have it. Hi. Hi, Ma. How are you, B? Oh, I'm fine. I'm glad you hear you. It sounded so mysterious on the phone. That's business? Business is fine. So? So, let's grab a cup of coffee or something. What is it? Oh, uh, we have some news, B. News? Oh, sorry. If it's what I think it is, oh, I couldn't be happy, no, B. I'm not pregnant. You're not? No. Oh. We're moving. You're moving? To 
California. California? UCLA offered me an assistant professorship, right? They have one of the finest English departments in the country. California's the other side of the world. It's only five hours by jet. And we thought you'd be happy for us, B. Oh, of course I'm happy for you. It's myself I'm feeling sorry for. Wow, this was your ambition, this shop. You have yours, I, you know, this is what I need. Help me feed my birds. It's something to do. And the birds appreciate it. Go, 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 go. for yesterday. They found a house, finally. They seem very happy. I'm all right, Diane. Really, I am. Don't worry about me so much. No. No, I don't hear from them. Well, they were Daddy's friends more than mine, really. I wouldn't feel comfortable with a group of married people anyway. Yes, darling. Yeah. I'll be out on Saturday after I close the shop. No, I'll take the train. Why should he drive all the way up to the Bronx and then have to go back to the island? That's silly. No, I'm taking the train, period. Yes, dear. Thank you for calling. I love you, too. And the children. Bye. How's business in every other little thing? Business is good. Every other little thing could be better. I knew it. You can't hide sadness. My son's in Los Angeles, my daughter's in Long Island, my husband's in the ground. Sometimes I wonder what it's all about. Excuse me, everyone. What can I do for you? The uh, bacon is and tomato on toast. BLT down. Coffee? B, can I ask you a personal question? Ask me. Are there any men in your life? Men? Yeah, men. You never heard of it? I'm an old woman, Angie. What? Listen, I had one man in my life, and he's gone. B, take it from me. Life begins when your husband dies. What? You didn't know me when my husband was alive. I was dead. Honest to God, and I was breathing. I was existing. But I was really dead. I looked dead. I felt dead. The day he dropped dead, I was born. <laughs> hey, do you like dancing? Dancing? Yeah, ballroom dancing. Waltz, rumpa, tango, that kind of thing. Oh, as a matter of fact, I used to be a pretty good dancer. That was a long time ago. When I was a girl, New York was a prairie. Do you ever go to the Stardust? What's the starters? It's a ballroom. I go there all the time. It's a terrific place for old girls like us who are young at heart. There's a very nice crowd. You ought to come with me sometime. No, really. It's a terrific band. Everyone has a ball. <sighs> My regular partner is Johnny Cantel. We call him Johnny Lightfeet because his life is famous. I 
really is. He's the greatest. Martha's got a terrific dance partner, too. Petey? Of course, Petey. Who else? I tell you, this one is a real dingle. I have a lot of partners, Angie. But Petey's your regular, isn't he? Not really. Oh, he is, too. Tell B what we all call Petey. The nose. Oh, wait till you see the schnoz on that character. But what a dance. <laughs> he really is. Are you okay, B? You're so quiet. I guess I'm a little nervous. Surface, there is nothing to be nervous about. It's a nice, easy going. It really is the greatest. I'll tell you one thing, I wish you'd let me do something with your hair. My hair? Yeah, maybe give it a little style or something. Angie's terrific with hair. Turn around. When the husbands know what's good for their wives. That's for sure. Martha should know. She's been married how many times? Three. Oh, I thought it was four. Three. Right, all right. Don't hit me. Psychologist from Hunter College who will give us a sex education lecture. We're all invited. That's Pauline Crim. She's the reigning queen. The queen? Yeah. Once a year we hold a contest to pick a new queen. She's the one we all think is the most popular and friendly woman at the start. It's her job to go around and make people happy, so to speak. It's a real honor. And Saturday. Chiquita of the famous dance team of Jose and Chiquita is going to give samba lessons. Now, they're only 50 cents an hour, so you better hurry up and sign up at the bar. And last but not least, what we've all been waiting for, tonight we have a birthday. This is one of the favorites of the Stardust. 
She won't tell us how old she is, but she has a wonderful sense of humor, and we are all just crazy about her. It's Miss Emily Vogel. Emily, where are you? to make my wish publicly. A long and happy life to all here. Oh! Anybody who wants a piece of cake can come up and get it. And now, boys and girls, we're going to do the cha-cha-cha. started in again on me as usual. I almost didn't get here. I'd like you to meet my friend B. This is Johnny. Hi. How do you do? Come on, will you? Let's dance. I gotta calm down. I'm with somebody, Johnny. That's all right. You go ahead. I'm fine. Johnny will find you someone to dance with, won't you, Johnny? Please don't worry about me. Johnny knows all the men here. I'm sure he can find you a partner. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Go ahead and dance. I'm all right. When I go someplace with somebody, I don't desert that person. The cha-cha-cha isn't my kind of dance anymore. Relax and finish your drink. This is, uh... Pete, how do you do? Enchanted. Harry or Ryan? Come on, let's dance. Shall we? Is something wrong with my no, dancing? No, 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 you're terrific. Uh, it's me, you're too good for me. Yeah. But thank you very much. Uh -huh. Oh, we have such good dancers tonight. Now, here she is, Milton Martha Tilton. Martha? As 
crazy heart of mine adores Call me a fool But call me yours Mother Manhattan? Oh, yes, thank you. I'm welcome. Hi. Oh. Would you like to dance? Oh, no, thanks. I've been watching you ever since you walked in. I really love to dance with you. I have a headache. Oh. Maybe some other time, huh? Maybe. Poor Al. Big fun. Calvin Green comes to the Stardust three or four times a week and hardly ever dances. I'm Pauline Krim. Who are you? A uh, B Asher. First timer? Uh huh. Terrific. On behalf of everyone here, I welcome you. Oh, thank you. Oh, believe me, B, there's no place like the Stardust. It's a place to live it up, let yourself go, have a wonderful time. You know, I'm around all the time, so if you have any questions or problems, just come to me. I have all the answers. Thank you, I will. And for heaven's sakes, find yourself a partner and dance. Dance.
to sit down. Ah, what, your feet hurt? Oh, they are numb. Oh, yeah, I'm used to being on my feet a lot. I'm a mailman. Mailman? Are you surprised? <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed you were a mailman. That's because a mailman isn't what I really am. It's what I do, but it's not what I am. Inside of here, I'm a lot more. Oh, I feel terrible taking you out of your way like this. Come on, don't worry about it. I can get the subway in your neighborhood and be home in no time. You really are some dancer. <laughs> I haven't danced in years and years. When you were dancing tonight, you think you danced every day of your life. That's because you're such a good leader. Think you'll be coming back to the Stardust? I don't know. I'm not used to going out nights. I sure hope you do. Not too many women can follow me the way you can. I really had a very nice time. this time of night. What could happen to me? Hey, you never know. You must have to get up very early. I don't require much sleep. I really had a very nice time. Yeah, pleasure was all mine, believe me. <coughs> hey, you have a cold? No, 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 I'm fine. Well, I'm home. Hey, B, uh, would you like to give me your phone number? What for? Well, I thought maybe, uh, I'd have to call you up sometime, you know, take you out to a movie or Stardust or something. I'm not a swinger. We're friends, B. All I'm talking about is friendship. I'm in the book under Maurice Asher. Maurice Asher? Fine. Thank you. Good night. Good night. calling you and calling you all night. I've been worried sick. I was out for the evening. I was out for the evening. Why didn't you tell a person that you were going out for the evening so the person wouldn't worry himself sick over you? I'm your sister, B. I'm a big girl now, Helen. My words, exactly. Quiet. Where were you, B? Once and for all, where were you? I went dancing. Dancing? The Stardust Ballroom. Dancing. So what's wrong with dancing? Your poor daughter is half dead with worry. Diane? Diane, yes. You have another daughter? When I couldn't reach you all night, I called her. I figured maybe she knew where you were. Oh, I better call her and tell her you're all right. <laughs> we were sure you were in some alleyway unconscious. If Jack didn't stop me, I would have called the police. When do I have to report to you with Diane when I go out for an evening? Diane? She's home. <laughs> uh, she was out dancing. Dancing, right. I know. Absolutely. All right. Darling, stop crying. Get some sleep. I don't think it'll happen again. Ah. Oh. So? Go home, Helen. Why? Go home, please. 
I'm shocked at you, B. Come on, Helen. I expect an apology from you. I said, come on, Helen. Who gave you permission? Who gave you the right? No more interfering. Beginning tonight, I'm declaring my independence. May I say, it's long overdue. I'll go and do whatever I please. I don't have to check in with you. It's none of your business. A baby I'm not. I like to go dancing. I'm dancing, so what? All my life I thought of the children, what was best for them and my husband. Years of being wanted and needed. Now they're gone, but life isn't over. I don't care if you understand it. Now it's time for me to come first. Believe me, I know you love me And I know you'd like to help me somehow But if ever there was a time You shouldn't worry It's now Say a goose is cooked before it's bubbling in the pot. To say a duck is dead until the duck is shot. To say the butler did it until you know the plot is a mistake. A big mistake. To think the ball game's over till the final out is made. Or the poker hands a loser till the last card's played. To ever think you know all the answers, I'm afraid, is a mistake. A big mistake. Go figure out the future. Go know about such things. How can you tell someone's at the door until the doorbell rings? To think that you can plan your life as if you had a say. To put off till tomorrow what you ought to do today. To not enjoy September cause you're wishing it were May. is a mistake, a big mistake.
Don't you ever go and invite me in. Well, we both have to get up early and go to work. I want the night to end yet. No, I bet you make a fantastic cup of coffee. As a matter of fact, I make a terrific cup of coffee. Good. house for a single woman. Oh, I know, but you know, it's been my home for so long. And so many memories, I don't want to give it up. Must be a nice feeling. These are my grandchildren. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll make us some coffee. We make a great team, huh, B? Uh -huh. You know something? I'm a different person since I met you. Thanks to you, I'm, uh... uh... I'm not sure I can express it right. It's just as well. You're embarrassing me anyway. My glass shall not persuade me I am old. So long as youth and thou are of one date. What? Well, that's, uh... Sonnet by Shakespeare. Here's another one. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. OK, enough. <laughs> you know? I love your house. What? I love your house. <laughs> it's a house. No, 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 no. Something special, you believe me. Walking through the years Like I have In between the tears Like I have Watching all the days Go by Would you like some coffee cake? I have one in the refrigerator. Don't bother. It's no bother. Never set the sights I should have. Never reached the heights I could have. Never even wondered why. Never traveled the world's unexplored. The dreams left unraveled. Suddenly I find they're not all behind. Heating it up, okay? What? The coffee cake. It's better when it's warm. Suddenly the days have meaning. Suddenly the leaves are greening. Just when I was sure spring was through. 
Suddenly there's life Suddenly there's love Smiling in my arms Suddenly there's you How do you take your coffee? Fine. It's the only way for a true coffee lover. <laughs> Unless you're on a diet, like me. A diet? You? What are you on a diet for? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, no, no. You have a terrific build. You like pears. <laughs> no, no, really. Now, you drink your coffee and go home. I have to go to sleep. Let me... Stay for a while, please. No, it's late. I would never want to offend you. Who's offended? I'm flattered. It's just that I'm not ready for that yet. It's late. Can I kiss you good night? He just did. Another one, please. If it makes you happy. Exhausted, so I came to pick you up. But I told you on the phone I'm not coming out this weekend. What's the matter? What have you done to yourself? Oh, my hair. Your hair, your face, everything. Ma, you look ridiculous. Ridiculous? Have you lost your mind? I dyed my hair and put on some makeup, that's all. That's all? For heaven's sake, Ma, you're a grandmother. So? You look like some kind of a... Never mind. What's got into you? I like the way I look. I never felt better in my life. Nobody asked your opinion. Ma, Ma, listen. You always talk too much, Diane. Look, Ma. I drive all the way in from Long Island to pick up my mother. I walk in here totally unprepared for the sight I see. How do you expect me to react? If you don't like what you see, I expect you to keep quiet about it. I have feelings, even if I am only your mother. All right. All right, I won't say another word about it. But don't blame me if Lewis and the girls are shocked when they see you. Well, they're not going to see me tonight, so you have nothing to worry about. What do you mean? I told you I have other plans for the weekend. You mean you were serious? Of course I was serious. Ma, you always come for the weekend. I mean, the girls are expecting you. I have a date. A date? Yes, with someone who appreciates the way I look. You just lost your husband, Ma. That was 13 months ago. I don't know you, Ma. Maybe not. Can you break your date? I don't want to. Well, that is just lovely, Mother. Diane! What? You didn't kiss me hello or goodbye. Come here and give your mother a kiss. I'm just furious with you. Come here to me, I said. Oh, Diane. Something wonderful is happening for me. I feel alive again. Don't hold it against me. You're not a kid. They'll understand if you explain it to them properly. And don't tell them I look ridiculous. Tell them I look like a movie star. Because that's the way I feel. Bee, tell me the guards are on us. Is this dress too short for me? Oh, not? it's terrific. You sure I'm not too old to wear a mini? If I had your figure, even I'd wear a dress that short. Her top. 
be? Have yeah. you seen Petey? He's not in here. Oh, well, where the hell is he? We have to get ready for the Peabody. Does anybody have any green eyeshadow? Yeah, I have some. Yeah. Uh, could I borrow it? Sure. Thanks. Yeah, how do you like my new outfit? <gasps> oh, it's terrific. It took me two hours to get dressed tonight. But worldly enough in time, this coyness lady were no crime. What is that? It's a poem. with your own hands, huh? Mm -hmm. I quilted it. I can't get over it. It's very easy. I wish I had some special talents. You have. You're a wonderful dancer. That's a talent. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it is. Did you ever go to college, B? No. Me neither. One of the biggest regrets of my life. I dropped out of high school to join the army. You were in the army. World War II. You're looking at a war hero. Uh, when I got back from overseas, I made a lot of mistakes. Oh, I bet. I bet you look terrific in a uniform. Well, I didn't look bad. <laughs> Someday I'll bring over some pictures and show you. Welcome to stay 
are married, B. Gin. <laughs> That's what it's called. You're slaughtering me. <laughs> he used to beat Maury all the time. He was a worse player than you. I'm a bad player, huh? Terrible. Come over here. <laughs> Let's play to you. I don't like to lose. <laughs> Come over here. cooked or baked for anybody since Maury died. What a waste of talent. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to wait for you here, okay? Good man, Maury. You'd like him. I'm all right now, my darling. Dear Grandma B, Leslie and me are very sad, but we're not mad to see you go. We'll miss you so. We hope you stay out in LA. It's lots of fun. Please come back soon. Aww. Well, it certainly is nice to meet you, Mr. Green. Same here. Lewis and I are always so happy to meet any friend of my mother's. Well, I'm happy to know you, too. And your cooking, it is delicious. <laughs> Better than mine? <laughs> well... I learned everything about my cooking from my mother, Mr. Green, so you don't have to worry about hurting my feelings. Uh, you can call me Al. Uh, Ma tells us you're a uh, postal employee, Al. I'm a mailman, yes. That reminds me, your ticket's in my jacket. I'll be right back. Oh, I wish you'd let us go to the airport with you, Ma. We were really looking forward to it. No, I, I, I'd rather you did not. I'm nervous enough as it is. You know, she didn't even want me to go with her, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. I bet uh, Jennifer and David are really thrilled that you're coming. I hope so. I wouldn't fly for anybody except my children. Hey, flying's terrific. Uh -huh. You're gonna love it. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna miss you, Ma. Aren't we, girls? It's only a week. Uh, here, now remember, to sit in back in the plane. What? Well, statistics proves that's the safest place to be. Oh, Lewis, please, don't make her nervous. It's a fact, Diane. Are you getting married, Grandma, Mr. Green? Terry. Mr. Green is married, darling. That's just some adrenaline. Uh -huh. You take one as soon as you get on the plane, so Thanks. you get nauseous. Huh? Now I'll walk with you to the gate. Well, you have a wonderful time. Huh? If I ever get there. Oh, you. You come back safe to me next week. I miss you. I miss you too. Don't come any further. I want to go quickly. Mm -hmm.
Oh, the stewardesses was great. The food was terrific. I couldn't get over it. I had a great time. I said to myself, if you're so scared of flying, it's not such a bad way to die. Oh, let me take <laughs> Ma, I can't get over how different you look. Good or bad? Different. Sensational. Come on, V. How do you like the house, V? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Wait till you see the inside, Ma. Here we are. Living room. Oh, it's gorgeous. Make yourself at home, Ma. Put this away and then I'll cook dinner. Cook? Since when do you cook? Listen, you'd be surprised at what I can do. Where do you taste my burritos? What's a burrito? It's a California blintz. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the Dan. Let me take your coat. He's not a bad husband, my son, is he? No. Now I have a feeling he's going to make a pretty good father, too. You mean that? Oh, <laughs> oh this is the happiest day of my life. Oh, it was a wonderful meal. A wonderful house and a wonderful couple. Who could ask for anything more? Uh, may I be excused? Morning sickness? Mm hmm Morning sickness. It's nighttime. Uh -huh. Jennifer has a screwed up. She has morning sickness in the morning and at night. <laughs> How are you, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> His name is Al Green. He's a mailman. Mailman, huh? I bet she likes to play post office. Oh, David. I know, it's a bad joke. <laughs> At first, he was my dancing partner. He's a wonderful dancer. And then... And then you we... found out dancing wasn't his only talent. David, you're embarrassing me. You gonna marry him, huh? No. I'm not going to get married again. He's married. Oh. Are you shocked? No. Diane was very shocked. And I'm sorry, but it's just... Well, everything is so terrific, Marlon. He's considerate and affectionate. He has a wonderful sense of humor. David, your mother's finding out so many wonderful things in her old age. Oh, that's great, Ma. We'll go to Disneyland and uh, Knott's Berry Farm. 
Maybe the day after that we'll go to um, Marineland, huh? Never set the sights I should have. Never reached the heights I could have. Never even wondered why. This room, it's after three. David, I want to go home. Home? You just got here. I know, but I'm homesick. I'm sorry. Tomorrow morning's soon enough. Thank you. famous movie stars live. And I saw the Queen Mary at Long Beach, and we went to a place called Ports of Call. It was very nice, but I was so glad to come home. Well, how come you're so wide awake? It's after one. I'm on Los Angeles time. It's three hours early. Oh. Why are you tired? Me? No, I feel fine. Oh, good, because I want to know everything you did while I was away. Well, you've only gone a couple of days. Oh, it feels like two months. What'd you do? Well, let's see. During the day, I worked, of course. Then the uh, first night, I went to the movies. By yourself? No, I uh, picked up this terrific-looking blonde at the ticket booth. Oh, really? <laughs> no. What did you see? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I fell asleep through the double feature. <laughs> What'd you do the next night? Oh, uh, then I went to the ballroom, but I didn't dance. Why not? Couldn't find anyone to dance with. Oh, there are a lot of good dancers there. Yeah, but no B. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I figured. I missed you. Feelings mutual, believe me. By the way, you've been nominated. Nominated for what? Queen of the Stardust Ball, Saturday night. What? About 20 people nominated you. What do I have to do? Well, you sing or dance or twirl a baton, anything you want. Perform? Uh-huh. Oh. Slap, boom, <laughs> step, step, slap, boom, come on. Come on, what, what? Oh, I'll never get it. Oh, come on. No, one more time. Just breath. Oh, no, come on. Please, just once. Come on. Come on, honey, please. One more time. I don't want to make a fool of myself. You think I care whether you win that contest? I care. Come on. As far as I'm concerned, you're the queen whether you win it or not. All right, one more time. You ready? Yeah. Okay, from the top. All right, everybody. B and L. I love to dance like they used to dance When you held a girl in your arms No hide and seek Just cheek to cheek No fun in doing a single When there's no touch, there's no tingle I love to travel Across the floor Holding something more than just air Come and dance with me You and I can be Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire 
this great honor and I'm the happiest woman in the world tonight thanks to all of you Oh, I know what you mean. I'm tired, too. 
Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go home. And I'm going to come back bright and early tomorrow morning, and I'll bring some rolls, and we'll have Sunday brunch together, OK? OK. You know, it was the best night of my life. Mine, too. They couldn't have picked a better queen. Thank you. Good night, Your Majesty. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hey, B. Please wake up. Hey. <laughs> 